The Ape Index has fascinated generations of athletes and climbers because of its seemingly potential ability to predict sports performance. Having a large wingspan has obvious potential benefits. Longer body surface to propel yourself in the water as a swimmer, more reach as a boxer to hit your opponent, better ability to block and score shots as a basketball player, and of course, more reach to grab holes as a climber. However, is that really the case? In this video, we will explore the Ape Index, what it is all about, and look at some scientific studies to show if there's actual correlation between climbing performance and Ape Index. We will also compare the Ape Index and some heights of some pro climbers today. So what is the Ape Index? Also referred to as the Ape Factor, it's a measurement of your wingspan in ratio with your height. So most humans have a neutral ape index or an ape index of plus zero centimeters. This means that the length of your fingertips to fingertips is the same as your height. So if your arms are longer than you are tall, you have a positive ape index or more monkey-like. Studies on the correlation between ape index and climbing performance have yielded mixed results. One study by Mimir et al. in 2000 found that training explained for 59% of climbing performance whilst anthropometric and flexibility only accounted for 1.1%. Another study by Watts et al. 2003 concluded that there was no correlation between ape index and climbing ability. They only studied the supported the benefit of high ape index in climbing efficiency was Majira et al where they found that ape index did play a role in bouldering and rope climbing but found that other training and experience factors play more of a significant role. Adam Ondra is known as the greatest climber of all time with multiple world championships and first ascents. He has climbed most of the hardest routes in the world including the hardest route in the world, Silence 9C. You would think that he has an amazing ape index, but you'd be surprised to learn that he only has a slight positive ape index of plus 1 cm. This is very relatively average in the whole population of humanity. However, he's one of the taller climbers, admittedly, and he's standing at 6 foot 1 or 186 centimeters. This may have contributed to some of his ability to be able to reach holes that are slightly higher and have more hold and better options on the natural real rock. This definitely helps in his speciality, which is outdoor lead climbing. Daniel Woods, on the other hand, is the powerhouse of the bouldering world, known for his strength and precision on boulder problems. With numerous V15 plus ascents outdoors and first ascents of some of the hardest boulder problems in the world, Daniel Woods has established himself as one of the strongest boulders of all time outdoors. He comes in shorter at 172 centimeters, but with a whopping plus 10.2 centimeters of positive ape index. So how does Daniel Woods compare to an indoor bouldering specialist? So let's look at Tomoa Narasaki. Tomoa Narasaki is a powerhouse in the indoor bouldering climbing world, captivating audiences with his awe-inspiring coordination and dynamic climbing skills. With a trophy case filled with world championships, Tomoa was the favorite of the previous Olympics and will still be the favorite in the Paris Olympics. Tomo Narasaki stands at 170 centimeters, which is about 5 foot 8, with a positive wingspan of plus 10 cm. It's very similar to Daniel Woods. But let's check out a more average climber, our favorite YouTube climber, Magnus Midbow. Of course, no average climber, but our Norwegian meatball stands at 173 centimeters and weighs 71 kilograms, and he has the ape index of positive plus 3 centimeters. Later on, I'll introduce you to somebody who has actually a negative ape index. So Magnus Mimbo doesn't have the massive ape index like Tomo Narasaki and Daniel Woods, but managed to compete in the finals of international competitions back in the day against the likes of Adam Ondra and Alex Migos in Lee climbing competitions. Speaking of Alex Migos, you'd be surprised to know that he has an ape index of plus zero, a middle of the road average ape index with a height of also around the same as Magnus Midbow. Alex Migos was the first to on-site 9A and is regarded one of the strongest lead climbers outdoors in history. 
If you'd like to learn more about the mysteries of Alex Migos, I made a Climber Profiles video of him, link in the comment section. But what about female rock climbers? Let's compare two of the top competition climbers today, Yanya Gamre and Ai Mori. Yanya Gamre, the Slovenian climbing superstar, is known for her incredible win streaks at international climbing competitions and dominance in the women's comps, standing at 164 centimeters. But after being dominant for over four years of competitions, her biggest rival has finally appeared in the form of Ai Mori. Ai Mori is a young Japanese climber, and you would think that maybe Ai Mori has more height or more ape index against Yanya Gambret. But Ai Mori only stands at 5 foot or 154 centimeters. There isn't much info on their wingspans, but judging by the videos you can see, we can estimate that her ape index ratio isn't as long as Yanyo Gamret's. In fact, I think Aimori's ape index is very, very close to zero. Despite being short, Aimori manages to reach further and has been outperforming all the others in recent competitions. I've spent hours watching Aimori's climbing style and I've analyzed it and found out how she maximizes her reach in her climbing, especially during dynamic climbs. That video is linked in the comment section. So is there an elite climber with a negative ape index? Austria's Babsi Zangirl was widely regarded as the best all-round female climber in the world. She sent Pura Vida V12 in Magic Wood, the hardest boulder climbed by a woman at that time. She's also the strongest female track climber to date, climbing 514 track climbs. But she actually only has a negative 2 cm of ape index. So what about slightly older climbers? Well, Kushama stands in at 182.9 cm, which is about 6 foot, with a wingspan of plus 6.4 cm. And Alex Honnold comes in at 180 cm in height, with plus 8 cm wingspan. Both are more endurance-based climbers on longer lead routes. Alex Honnold, of course, very famous for free soloing El Capitan for 4 hours. So what do you think about Ape Index in height? If you would like to learn how to get more reach in your climbing, especially during dynamic moves, I made a video over here with Ai Mori. And I'll see you there.